we're streaming. I'm late. I'm sorry. I'm too busy making a cup of tea to calm down my nerves. And today is the day of lies beyond imagination, folks. We don't even understand the true nature of this beast, and we probably never will, even in thousands of years if we were to proliferate knowledge, we still couldn't understand the implications of it. I kind of overdone it today, did I? Sorry, let me get rid of that. Look, uh, I got the most unusual email today, in the sense of, just bear with me for a second. It says, hi Dana, thank you for all your efforts about Fukushima. I don't think building three one, boy. two, and three are gone. Too busy making a cup of tea. Oh, I got my stream going. I don't think building one, two, and three are gone. Now what kind of message is that? How hard is it for somebody to go out and look it up themselves? So that's what we're up against. People that are so incompetent, are so, or they are PR people, but are, there are a lot of people out there who just can't comprehend that fact. And uh, this one in particular wants me to help them start up a nuclear debunking site for people like me, to debunk people like me. Or you see the ludicrous, how bizarre this can actually get. I can assure you building one, two, and three, <laughs> are missing in every sense of the word and that people paid their lives because of that and, and immediately and will till the end of time because of that and that I, I really truly can't see any humor in what I do there's there's nothing you know it really affects me that somebody could say that to me that they think building one two and three are there and I just there's no way I can sit there and type out to everybody and try to explain it to them because I feel like I should do that, but I can't. Uh, you know, I, I feel like I should grab them and smack them up the side of their head because they're so incompetent that maybe that would help because that's maybe all they understand is a good shot in the head. And that's the reality of it that we got to even think that way or even consider that that something so important, something so friggin' important that they'll end up liquidating all their assets down the road because they don't know any better, that they'll work like dogs and in every nickel they make they gotta liquidate that in order to buy GMO pharmaceuticals to try to keep themselves alive in the near future because of this. I've read so much information about it from scholars that you could be ingesting six and seven particles a day isotopes a day that you are looking at at least a nuclear Nagasaki uh, bombs worth of radiation coming out of that place every day and that in 1989 when India and Pakistan set off nine nukes each the entire world rose up and was deafening they took to the streets every paper screamed their heads off stop polluting this planet what are you people doing down there? France snuck in a nuclear weapon and the entire planet turned on them and nobody had a problem saying it in 1989 how dangerous this was but today it's like ah, I'd be fine dead Pacific Ocean no big deal dead Pacific Rim no big deal a few billion people killed too many people on the planet anyway they don't get it they don't get it kills all the species on the planet too they don't get it that it destroys the DNA of the planet itself. That that ocean, that that super life that is the ocean, a cubic meter of that actually has more life than all the humans on this planet in a cubic meter of the ocean. And we're talking about 300 million cubic kilometers of the ocean. And the arrogance, the hubris of people to come out and tell me, I know that's a PR firm, but to tell me that Unit 1, 2, and 3 are still there and that I'm fear-mongering. I wish I was. You have no idea how I wish I was fear-mongering. You have no idea how much I can fear-monger if I wanted to. 
You have no idea how much I can turn this up and crank this up if I desired. Because I understand it, because I studied it for so long. Do you think I ever spent all those years at Harvard and Yale and Berkeley and MIT and Stanford and Oxford and the Commonwealth and I watched every scholar on the planet about depleted uranium because of what they had done to Iraq and Afghanistan. And then this that I actually tried to avoid because I understand it so much I guess. Some way or another I thought I could avoid it and it would all be better but now I know. And I'm remorseful for that. I hate looking back on that last couple of years and realize I didn't come out swinging every day. That's something I gotta live with. Because someone like me should know better. And most likely that I blocked it out on purpose because I understood it so well. I made a video the very day of this, like a 25 minute video explaining about DU and what the implications of that tsunami an earthquake was for Japan. Make no mistake, I nailed it right on the head. And nothing's changed since then. And I have an opportunity to come out and talk to people and rationalize the realities without fabricating it or misrepresenting it, without construing or conflating insignificant things. That's so far reaching into my own personal life because I understand so much that I can't escape it in my own personal life, the implications of it. And then I had to tape up all the windows in my home because I understand the implications of it and the doors in my home. Because I watched fog come in my door for 11 days. That's known as fog again. That wasn't an illusion. Fog can't cross that temperature barrier into your home and fog leaves moisture and so I went down that road where I checked that out and that's turns out that all countries spray particulates to aggregate to the electrical properties of the gammas and the betas in order to mitigate that that's that's your backup plan for nuclear fallout in their countries and literally all countries will do that and I doubt if there's one out there that doesn't do that or doesn't have a plan to do that. And so the fog that came in my door, I understood what that was. That was my military, my Canadian military, gone to war against this creature now we call the Pacific Ocean. That used to be so wonderful. It was so full of life. That was so inconceivable, incredible, that I stayed here now for 25 years because I loved it so much. And now I have to pull up stakes and move. I have no options. And anybody who stays here, at some point in the near future, their property is going to become not only invaluable, but they can't sell it anyway. If you have any morals, you can't sell it. Who are you going to sell it to? Here, you know, buy my, buy my spot. I'm getting out of here because of Fukushima. The gallows left. Getting out of here because of Fukushima. How can you sell that to somebody now, knowing that? Well, lots of people can. Lots of people have no options. And that's something they're going to have to live with for the rest of their lives. If Japan has nothing to hide, why are they hiding Japan? Why does Japan not even exist anymore? Why is it that I can show you endless lies now for 988 days, I believe this is, of endless lies, just endless, endless, <laughs> Loy, 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 nonstop. That's your legacy. It's never told the truth once. Not a single time. Not one freaking time have they told us the truth. Fabrication, misdirections, misrepresentation, and outright, outrageous, deadly, vicious lies. What are you doing, Zoe? You got a flea over there? You got a buddy you're not telling me about? TEPCO, you know, I wish it was just four letters in it, because that would be more appropriate. That here we are with all the experts coming out in the media, and they're leaning this way, and they're leaning that way. But if you go back to everything they've ever said, 
You can see this change now where they're afraid to say things. And they can't get back up into the mainstream media if they come up and tell you the truth. Do you think they're getting up in the mainstream media because they're being frank with everybody? Because they're being outright level with everybody? No, they're up there. That's damage control as far as I'm concerned. I don't trust a single one of them now. After watching them, so much of it, I come to the realization that anybody that gets up on mainstream media, so-called professionals, been at it for many years, you have to be careful. Because if you're not going to come out and tell the very straight, honest truth, because you can't, they're, so they're limiting, they're limiting themselves because they understand that, that that machine out there, like the Asians showed the maps, the peer review studies of the ocean polluted from two weeks dispersal over six years. So all the Asian population is, understands that. The Canadian population has no concept of that. And that was the mainstream media there. Okay, Zoe, settle down on me. And Americans are not going to show them that. They're going to live this little lie. That's why they've been feeding you that GMO and putting all that fluoride in your water and putting all these that squalene in your vaccines. That's why you live in this atmosphere of radiation just from cell phones, just from your smart meters, just from your wireless computers. Have you ever seen the studies, and I've done this on my site before, about uh, plant seeds that won't germinate if they're alongside of your router, your wireless router. But you move them away and, and try new ones and they'll grow no problem at all. And this was repeated. <coughs> you got 65,000 unregulated chemicals with no environmental human impact studies that were grandfathered in by the, by the EPA. Uh, I think it was in 1981 when they hung their shingle outside the door. And so at least Several thousand of them they know are carcinogenics, but they grandfathered them in. And that's in your baby food, that's in your supplements, that's in everything in every aspect of your life. That's in the material on this. That's in the material in my clothing. Material in this. And they they know this stuff affects all kinds of properties of your body that these nanoparticles that are leaching off everything in your home are so small you can get through the liners of your lungs and then your body has to go attack that. And that they know that they're feeding you that GMO it has no nutrients in it. It's engineered out. So if they can engineer it out, they could have engineered it in. More of it. But they chose not to. And then all of our corporations, all of our supermarkets know that and still carry their products that outnumber the natural food. And then the natural food, out of $11 billion each year that goes to farmers, 90% of that goes to GMO that has zero nutrition and five toxins engineered into it. That your education they're teaching you in school is, is not the same education you would get at a private school or the big institutions like Harvard or Yale or Berkeley or anything like that. They teach you real stuff. You have 4,200 academic journals that you pay for every day that are locked up in the ivory tower. Hundreds of millions are locked away. And they feed you one or two a day, maybe. This is the society you live in where you got five million orphans in Afghanistan to get 11,000 Taliban where you've got millions of widows in Iraq to get that same 11,000 Taliban. Where you've got millions missing to get that same 11,000 Taliban. Where you fired 5.5 million bullets a month to get that same 11,000 Taliban, month after month. And they feed you Fox News and CBC and CNN, blah, iPhone, iPad, ah, you, I, 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 I. Okay, Zoe, we get it. She's doing some deep breathing. Hey. Okay. I don't know, it's louder through my headphones. It's just that people think, and that's what I'm trying to say to you, is that people think they live in a society where everything is reasonable. And there's nothing reasonable in anything I told you that time, is it? Does any of that make any sense to anybody? That you give your children 49 vaccines? I never had one. You give your children 49 vaccines before they're two years old. 
What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with people? Why would you do that? Kids in school right now, if they go like that, they're kicked out. They're demonized. What kind of society is that? That does that? It's an idiotic society. It's a dumbed down, on purpose society. It's an orchestrated society. It's a manipulated society. That is not going to, it has no good implications for the future. You hire, you elect people to represent you and they stab you to death the entire time they're there. And you have people like John McCain and Nancy Pelosi that are the worst creatures on the planet. These are the things you should hide when you're a kid. That these are actually monsters that you're afraid of, but you don't know it. You think it's the monsters Disneyland shows you. It's not. It's the people that are out there destroying everything about you. On purpose, with an agenda that they don't even understand themselves. Maybe they do. And that the media never, ever, ever, once, single time, threw my hardball question. It's always a softball question because they want them to come back on their show later. But you want journalism. You want real pertinent questions put to these people. And so they have to create an illusion. And that's exactly what they do. They'll bring in Hollywood to create that illusion for you if they got to. And they do. They, they hire back and forth the inbreeding and the ancestral relationships all the time. And then you have all these lobbyists that shouldn't even exist because corporations were supposed to have charters, not human rights. And so you boxed yourself into this little hole where you can't do anything. And here's Fukushima. And it answers to nobody. It respects no borders. It respects no life. And it doesn't go away. And we can't deal with it. We don't know how to deal with it. These are isotopes that should never be on this planet. People tell you, oh, you're only getting the same dose as background radiation of this, or background radi radiation of that. They should be throttled and under back bleeding, as far as I'm concerned, when they open their mouth and say that. That's what would happen if they'd done that to my face. Okay? Make no mistake about it. I won't put up with it. That background radiation they're talking about is the indigenous isotopes on this planet. And they're talking about the low particulates. They're not talking about the plutonium, the strontium, the cesium, okay? They're not talking about any of that because they, they know about that, but they're not going to talk about that. They're going to play this game like this moron, this dummy that got me started here tonight. I don't think building one, two, and three are gone. Too stupid to go look up a picture before they put their comment there. But they was but they got a they got they got a paragraph like that to me. It's just too stupid. To go out and look up a picture. And that's supposed to be the ones we're supposed to convince? I don't care about those people. I hope they stay just like that, even though I know that's a PR firm. You gotta read the rest of to understand that part. But there's so many people like that. I got them right here in this town. And I just I just can't waste a minute on them anymore. Not even a second on them anymore. They're unapproachable. They're so dumbed down through those 65,000 chemicals, through all the fluff and all the teleprompt readers, that you cannot have a conversation with these people. They're so caught up in their own little fake, false, pathetic lives that they're, they're incapable of understanding this very basic thing that we talk about and those PR firms are murdering them and murdering trying to murder you and trying to murder your loved ones just like the schools are out there demonizing the children there's no such thing as a teacher anymore they're all prison wardens and the police are willing to go in and murder your loved ones for an infraction an infraction not putting your seatbelt on speeding jaywalking just being in the wrong place at the wrong time but the biggest problem we got right now is Fukushima and the main problem we got to deal with that is because that's a corporation with human rights instead of a charter if it had a charter they'd be in jail or swinging like I prefer but they'd be in jail and we can cannibalize TEPCO and then bring in the international community and deal with it 
because now they have this illegal, unconstitutional human rights, which is just an amendment on the slavery laws meant to f free the slaves from an oppressive government and is now being used by corporations to oppress the solvent people. And that's what democracies are, where they allow these corporations to come in and take over their country with the lobbyists. All lobbyists should be swinging from street poles. Once again, they're a figment of our imagination that shouldn't exist. But when you've got 7,500 lobbyists going after a politician, and then they got 120,000 support networks, how are you going to beat that? They all got a suitcase full of money. How are you going to get hold of them? 7,500 people ringing them first every day, knocking on their doors, sending them emails, with a box of cash. So they can destroy and take away your freedom and your sovereignty. That's the society you're living in. And every time I see something like that where people try to tell me that I don't think building one, two, and three are gone, I remember everything I just said right now. That you exist because of that. You're a victim, but you're also an idiot because you won't open up your own eyes. You won't even try to look for a picture. Before you open your mouths. But. There. Got that off my chest. I'm sorry. Just like. It really truly drives me insane. That. The creatures on this planet. Are out there. Saying that. In the comment sections. And persuading people. That are innocent. And naive. Is the most horrible thing imaginable. It's the most sickening. Disgusting thing I can ever imagine is those people every night they close their eyes and fall asleep fast because they don't have a conscience. Even though some of them do understand what they're doing, but they like that. Make, make no mistake, there's a lot of psychopaths out there. And they'll take these jobs. They'll do whatever it takes to get those jobs, actually. And it takes to destroy lives. I'm just ranting at this stage. Let me come down and say hi to a few people. I'm so tortured with the lies. I can't take it anymore. Every time I get it, it just winds me up and gives me so much more energy. But it's not the right energy. It's not the energy I want. It's not what I want to put out to people. It's not what I, what I see this should be. But I guess that's the way it is, isn't it? That you need people like that sometimes to really drive the point home of how sick and twisted and demented these people actually are. They won't let the world come in and deal with Fukushima. They can't. They have, haven't got it under control. They can't get it under control. They're an operating company, not an engineering company. It's ran by the mafia down there. On top of that, it's owned by the government. Like abandoned Japan. If we didn't have Fukushima in our face all the time, that's what I'd be screaming every day. If you ever fix it, that's what that'll be my next video was. Now let's abandon Japan. The hell with them. Seriously, the hell with them. I got no respect for it now. There's, there's uh, 200 million people there. Go take your country back. Go take your country back. Pick up fucking rocks. Go take your country back. Take it back now before you're killed. 200 million of you, if you want to do it, you can do it. They can't do nothing about it. Go destroy them. And the whole world will come and help you in a heartbeat. You have to take care of it yourself first. They got us all pushed away, marginalized. You got to pick up rocks if you got to. Make bow and arrows. Go take your country back. Go take TEPCO back. That's what you got to do. That's the solution. It's not to sit there like you're subservient slaves. You're better than that. You can do it. It's like, you got to do it. Japan, that's probably, be, I think that'll be my next video, how Japan takes his country back by force, by violence, by the extreme. Not by voting, not by sitting there with your thumb up your ass all day, not by walking in the streets, by running in the streets, by setting fire to everything they got, burn them out of there. 
That's what you got to do. You got to burn them to the ground right now before you kill this planet and every life on it. That's coming. I've seen this now coming at us through the depleted uranium. Now we see it coming at us through a radiated ocean. That in two months' time is going to be right here on my coast. Any idea how terrifying that is for me? That's terrifying. I understand what's coming. What's what's coming every day? These death plumes that are wafering up at a dead into the atmosphere and the stratosphere and circumventing this planet. We're not talking about background radiation. We're talking about strontium, plutonium, thirteen hundred weaponized isotopes. And you can't find out what came our way unless you got thirteen hundred Geiger counters that are calibrated to those isotopes. I can put up dummies coming to my site saying, I don't think building one, two, and three are gone. You wouldn't say it to my face. Because we're on your back. It's a good thing I'm not in Japan. Yeah, pick up the pitchforks, my baby mama. I miss Milky the Clown. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thumbs up, Dana. I'm ranting. I'm so pissed off with these people. Look at them, Dana, all 63 of us. Well, you don't know. <laughs> One of us might have a million babies and they'll all run over there, swim over there. They can't swim in that ocean. Benny. Hi, Auntie Kelly. Hi, Info Power. No four star, four star general, Dana. It's a good thing I'm not a general. <laughs> Hi, Crush Boss. See, I feel better now. Because I'm speaking to that dummy. Sent me that idiotic, the stupidest email possible. I should have blocked him. I should have blocked him. He came in and spammed me after. But whatever. Dutch Sink got his channel taken down, I hear it. He's the guy who done the video about uh, lasers. Uh, whipping up. Um... Uh, the Philippine storm. Of course, I blame that on the radiation, right? Because radiation is energy. It's heat. The ocean is heating up. It cannot heat up. It's full of radiation. Radiation is pure energy. It's purer than any other energy imaginable. And it's, we have nothing compared to it. It just pumps out energy for thousands of years. A lot of people just want us to use the isotopes that have a half-life of 30 years or a half-life of 2 years or a half-life of 8 days. But let's skip past the 1300 isotopes that'll never go away. And that are pumping out so much energy you can't even wrap your minds around it. I can't even, per second, wrap my mind around the accumulation per square meter of what this stuff is capable of and is doing. Is We know it's out there. It's missing. And all the lies, the endless, just, it's been non-stop lies. It's been non-stop for 988 days. Non-stop lies. Hi, Alien Raven. Um, I know Rhonda started this off tonight. Hi, Legionnaire. Miss Milky says, I should send you some of the stupid stuff she gets. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Yeah, you should send it to me, actually, sometimes. You get something real stupid. I'd send it to you, but you'd be like, that's nothing, Dana. Hi, Big Now TV. Hi, Doug. Hi, Stephen. The weather modifications, right, Stephen? Hi, Jerry. I'm going to come down and see a few people. That'll slow me down, get me off my rant a bit. Albert and... Uh, Mark, hi Mark. Curse boss, thumbs up, buddy. Let me see what we got going on here. Irene uh, Nil, see I can't pronounce that one. L i r a n a n o l. I don't know how to pronounce that. Laughing at Benny, I was too. I'll come down and catch up. Hi Hawk boy. Good one, Hawk Boy. Hi, Jacko. Jerry, Jerry's about to get torn apart. Where's Jerry to? Let me out. I'm 
I'm looking. Oh, lack of love. Let me catch up on a few comments. I'll just scroll down because I got a lot going on there. That I should have come down earlier, but I was pretty upset with the trolls. They do it to me every time. Every time the trolls have come after me, this is how I start my video off, is tear them apart, just rip them into them. It's okay, I guess. They're trying to do the opposite. Um, Auntie Kelly, what, what's an international nuclear specialist not there doing this? Rod transfer, right? And, uh, Auntie Kelly. Well, you got to realize the Philippines, we don't know, you can't, Dutch sink didn't prove that, okay, let's get that straight, that uh, microwaves, pulses created the Philippines hurricanes, no, that's a radiated ocean, that was a cover story, all he had to do was convince Dutch what he saw, and maybe he saw it, maybe it's real, maybe they done it anyway, maybe they're trying to give it a boost, I don't doubt that, but uh, you got to realize that ocean is radiated, okay, and that's picking up all that radiation and all those isotopes. That swept right over Japan before it hit it back over to the Philippines. That's all that nuclear water at the surface. This stuff stays, a lot of this stays at the surface. All those isotopes in that storm drove that storm and will drive the future ones too, the big ones. That's the problem. That was a good way of marginalizing the storm. See, that was a massive, inconceivable storm. My videos that I put out about that right away didn't even show up on my page. They're still on the internet, linked to me, but they're not actually not even in my page. I had to recapture it and down and put it back up on my site. And every time that I've, I brought that up, I've been censored about that. As soon as I bring that up, in fact, usually every time that I even talk about it, someone shows up in the comments section and says, oh, that's just conspiracy theories that the ocean heating up makes the storms more potent. They do that every time to me, which is the most ludicrous statement you can ever make because it's backed up by science. And it makes common sense anyway on top of that. But I mean, be careful of going down this Dutch sink road, okay? Just because they got a lot of views on the video, I mean, that's, t that's emblematic of the cover story itself where they pumped that out there now to convince everybody. And then new scientists came out to debunk them and blah, 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 right? So why would they give them all the attention unless they were trying to distract away from the real fact that a radiated ocean? And I've covered this many times. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just saying. I'm not saying that. What's going on? Let me go down. Hey, hey, Alan. I'm not sure what's going on. Jacko, Matt, I don't see the issue, but. So you gotta watch out for the old scam where it's a misdirection, right? That's what it is. It's a misdirection that they use in order to get you away from the truth, away from the fact that the ocean is radiated. It's already radiated. You got three melted cores. You got all the snowstorms, all the rainstorms. You got all the typhoons picking all those isotopes up and depositing them in the ocean. You got the ocean clouds picking it up and putting it in the troposphere. You got the ocean thousands of miles of cloud picking up and depositing it around the coastlines and around the continents. You got it flowing, and, st and we got so many peer-reviewed studies on this. Not from Canada, not from the Americans, but from everybody else on the planet. They're telling their own, but here in Canada, they don't tell them nothing. In, in America, they don't tell them nothing. And I covered all that earlier in the video about what that game is all about. How do they can't tell you anything. But they can't, like you say, like News Eye says, they can't keep us from the truth. As long as we use our own um, history of what the truth really is, and then compare it to what their lies are, you can see their lies quite quickly. I mean, Japan needs to take its own country back. They need to storm TEPCO and good old-fashioned lynching at the same time. Wouldn't go astray. And then let the international community that's trying to get in there come in there and deal with it. Because that's the only hope we got, is the entire planet goes to work and there's 4,200 peer review studies every day on how to solve this instead of how to destroy you. Because that's what the 4,200 peer review studies that are coming out. And if they're helpful, they're locked away. 
We're, we're in a lot of world. Hi, David. Yeah, the ocean is going to have to be... Put, we have to drag it another planet and pump the Pacific Ocean up onto another planet. Then we've got to find another planet with water and life on it and bring that down close to Earth and pump all that. But we've got to go down. Once we pump out the Pacific Ocean, then we've got to go down and scratch up the ocean floor and the coastlines. And we've got to put all that on a nuclear waste site till the end of time or another planet and move it away. We'll put it up behind the moon somewhere. Like the, the radiation that is coming out of there all day, every day, is nothing like a nuclear bomb. It's totally different, see? A nuclear bomb is... And we understand how that radiation works and how it dissipates over, you know, the time. But when you compare it to radiation, it's flowing out of melted cores. That's hell on Earth. Every single day. If it was just one day of that, that's hell on Earth. But uh, 980, almost, I think it's 88 days now, 988 days of that. So the Pacific Ocean is dead. It can't produce oxygen no more in the next couple of years. It just can't because that radiation fries all the microorganisms and the protoplanktons that are making the oxygen. And they're the crustaceans that would feed off of that, that goes up the food chain. And But that doesn't matter because if there's no oxygen, fish can't live. See? And the plants can't live, see? And that ocean, that radiation is picked up by those rain clouds. That comes in and lands on the coastline. That changes the DNA of all the plants and the trees. And that if you have a forest fire, you liberate all these isotopes again down the road. And that just goes on till the end of time. These are not, you know, like uh, Dean was done the other day where they come out with these short half-life isotopes. And they use that to try to debunk Fukushima. Those ice, you know, if that's all the isotopes were coming out of there, I wouldn't be worried. Neither would anybody else. If just a pound of plutonium aerosol can kill a few billion people, what can hundreds of tons of it do to this planet? We're not talking about strontium. We're not talking about the really dangerous family tree of cesium. There's many family trees in each of these. But Mach's fuel, fuel uh, number three, had is a million times more deadly than Chernobyl's fuel. That's a million times worse. That's missing. Well, it's not missing. It's in a spot where nobody can ever go. Nobody wants to go. Trust me. Believe me. And then the river that runs underneath it, all the rain that runs down on top of it and also runs out, all the snow that runs down, melt runs down on top of it, the indigenous river that's running out underneath it is whisking away. See? Because if it wasn't, there would be a big sinkhole there and would swallow up that site. It would go supernova. It would eat up all the gravel and all the rods that are buried in that topsoil. And all the buildings would eventually go down and just atomize. Because there's 9,000 degree pits of hell down there. Do you get that? Do people actually get that? The reason they're on the site is because the river is running over. Though. It has to be running over those cores. It has to be. Because like you say, rocks will melt at 2,000 degrees those cordiums are 9,000 degree Fahrenheit, folks. That's hotter than the sun, okay? These things are gone nuclear on our asses. And we can't do nothing about it. And like you see the headlines today, for 10,000 years this will be an issue. What are you going to do? No one knows how to deal with it. There's no way to deal with it. We have no way of containing it. And we have all these other nuclear plants on our planet that are old, derelict, and poorly designed. Because you can't contain these things. There is The design is just a design that they figure would work at best for 40 years. And that was a stretch even then. But literally every one of them are leaking. Every one of them have pipes going into the ocean anyway. They've been dumping radiation in the ocean now for 50 years because they don't know how to deal with it. They were so desperate in hand for it, they put 2 billion gallons of it directly into the soil, in, in bogs, because there's all that water there, see? And that Fukushima, all you had to do is touch rods or break one of those rods off and it's going to release so much gases, they have to leave and hope that they're able to vent it off so they can get back in. But if they screw up, it's game over. And they're going to keep lying. They don't want to tell you that. They're, it's not that they're afraid. Look, if you looked up and seen a meteorite coming at you, you could deal with it, okay? And you would. All the universities on this planet would go head first to deal with that 
meteorite coming at us. And don't say they wouldn't, because they would, because they couldn't hide it. See? Because anybody can look up with it, you know, and see it. That's what we got coming at us. That's what the Pacific Ocean is, and then the Atlantic, and then all the other oceans, and then every river. Because we, we, we're, not be, we're being denied the ability to deal with it rationally. We don't care what the horror is down there. We expect that, okay? But if Japan, if, if we can't do it, Japan has to do this. They have to go take their country back. And it's not very hard. You storm that place with a couple of, you know, 10 million people. It's game over for them. Storm it, tear them apart. Leave them, leave them in the streets as far as I'm concerned. Worse for what they're doing to our planet. You have to take your planet back. At some point, we're going to have to go there and do it. Yeah, God and praying will not fix anything. They've been praying for 5,000 years for everybody else to go fix their problems, okay? So when Alien Raven is saying that, I'll defend her. You've been praying for 5,000 years for other people, for Jesus to come fix all your problems. And they're in my churches every Sunday doing it. They're in every community doing that. And that gives them comfort. It gives them strength. And it'd be so easy if they wouldn't have done things themselves instead of sitting in the church all day praying for something. They could have all went down 200 people, 300 people, 1,000 people, and the church could go out and build a house in one day. Instead of praying for that poor homeless person they seen on the side of the road on the way to Mass today, they could have went and built them a house. They could have paid for it out of their own pockets rather than giving it all away to a big globalist creature that bought its own country eventually to keep the fables alive. Right? That's how they imprison you with that kind of routine, okay? It's okay to have your own, I don't want to hurt nobody, don't want to hurt me, blah, blah, blah. But to go spend all day praying for somebody else to fix your problem. Do you got any idea how stupid that really truly is? You might get comfort out of it. Good for you. You don't get anything done is the problem. You all sit on your asses all day praying for somebody else to fix your problem. I don't sit on my ass. I, I learned. I got educated. I informed people. That's what I do all the time. I don't sit on my ass waiting for everybody else Waiting for Jesus to come down and fix me problem. By the way, the Bible's prophecy is the world turns against Israel and then God comes down and destroys the whole planet and none of the people in Jerusalem gets to go to heaven. So ultimately, you're praying for the end of the world if you believe in the Bible. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Good for you. I got no problems with people being religious. But let's get something straight. That's what you're doing. You're not a scholar and you don't study it. I studied the scholars. And that's what it is. The whole world eventually, that's what the Bible is all about. The whole world eventually turns against Israel. God comes down to protect Israel. And then God destroys the entire planet. That's why you hear him out there right now with the prophecies about this. Fukushima, trying to use it. Oh yeah, somewhere in there, God said uh, build nuclear weapons, put them on earthquake fault lines, wait for a disaster, and then wait for the rapture. They're all going. If it all goes to shit, they're all going first as far as I'm concerned. They ain't going to get to see no rapture. Not in my area anyway. I'll be taking it perfectly. Prefer preferentially. Uh, hang on, I'll catch up with some questions. Me and my rents. <laughs> Is that right, Mr. Malky the Clown? You like these shows? They're a bit of fun, yeah. I guess so, you know. I find it comforting. But I'm driven <laughs> on top of that boy just angry right now that I don't want to have I, res I resist it so much and then I open up my email for going online and I don't think building one two and three are gone and you can't get your hands on them and, tear and hold on to them and tell them something see that's the problem but it's okay right so <laughs> I owe you a hug from last night by the way hugs for you Miss Milky thank you I seen that after I read all your comments folks I read all the comments I read everything. You're welcome, Alien. I read all comments, okay? I can't keep up with it during the stream sometimes because it's just like last night it was 570 or whatever it is. How am I supposed to keep up with that and do my rants at the same time? <laughs> but I absolutely love seeing her after I'm reading it. 
Uh, and that's what probably why I'm banging away again tonight the way I'm banging because I understand what people are saying. I take the time to, to read the comment and think about it. I think that's more important sometimes to making the video for me is reading those comments after and, th and trying to think about what these people are trying to say to me. And a lot of times it's very clear, but sometimes it's very subtle and very uh, clever. And um, it doesn't matter is the fact that people took the time to put that comment there. And I'm going to make sure that I respect that enough, that I take enough time to make sure I gave it a fair... I try, if I didn't understand it, that, that being the case, that I have at least a chance to try to understand it after. Uh, and I think, like comments last night, I read them all twice at least so far. And a lot of times in the context, because uh, the comments are responding to something I said, so I got to, and so that really, you know, keeps me honest again, right? Which is a good thing. And that's another thing, right? That's another thing that I'm hoping, I guess, for is someone's going to find out something I said is wrong. And tell me. Like, building one, two, and three are not gone. See? I feel so much better now that they told me that. Unfortunately, I went out and looked and found pictures, and they not there, but for that little moment there, I felt better, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, hey, Albert, thank you. Yeah. Mark, thank you. Auntie Kelly says, what well, And... So Unifor can go critical just with an earthquake or just with a mistake or just because the rods are twisted or bent or broken. The rods are in bundles of about 60. And so you got to watch out when they're lying to you all the time. Make sure, make no mistake, they're, they're cannibalizing these numbers for the last 988 days. TEPCO and the mainstream media has been trying to obfuscate the numbers so many different ways. Uh, but if you go back like Miss Milky the Clown's original site, Miss Milky the Clown 1, you'll see the numbers. You'll see all the, excuse me, all the original numbers. And i got to come all the way down. And once again, I know Rhonda. Uh, like you should be able to go get your own dandelion, folks. And DCA and structured water, that's what, I can't find a comment, but now I remember, because I, thanks Hawk Boy. I remember, Rhonda put a comment there before I came online, I glanced over to make sure the stream was looking okay, everything looks, because I got on such a low bandwidth to make sure there is no m mistakes, right, so the stream is really good for everybody, and it's always there. And what I found out, of course, was that YouTube grabs onto it, my stream. It's locked in there so tight you wouldn't believe it, folks. I've sat here uh, in the pre-streams and I've opened up like five windows of videos and it didn't even budge. I didn't lose my single at all. And I still had bandwidth left over. So the low bandwidth I'm using means there's no way I'm getting kicked off. If we do, I'll show up immediately. Just stay on the stream for 30 seconds, I'll pop back up. And that would be something extreme. My whole neighborhood would have to be kicked off. But YouTube will still hang on to my IP, and as soon as I come back online, it'll continue on with the stream from there. So that's really cool. See, we know that. Uh, I got digressed. Okay, so the DCA structured water. Structured water is natural water running out a river. That's all structured water, basically. That's the easiest way to get your hands on structured water, is a spring or a natural river. And that water itself, uh, is what's known as structured water. The water that goes down your pipes, and goes through the, the grinders at the pump houses and all that, that's not structured water anymore. That got bait up, you know, bait up. And it's been pounded around. That actually changes the structure of the water. The water can change itself back. And structured water is something that is really, um, it's unique. Uh, and it's what makes life possible structured water itself. Not the tap water, that's not structured water, see? But it's water, but it's not structured water. And structured water, you can actually buy devices that will convert whatever water you got back to structured water, it changes the molecule, it realigns the molecules, the way the molecules line up. That's what they call a structured water. And if you go look it up on Wikipedia, and you go look up a few videos on it, 
watch more than one, read more than one, because there's different interpretations of that. But you need to understand that that water itself, and also the water wherever you were born, was another part completely. And that has all the minerals of where... See, you're created by these certain minerals of what your parents drink, the water they consumed in where they lived. And that's what made up your body. That's what made up... That's you. You're based upon those minerals from that area. And that water is something special for you. Not that tap water. It's still the same thing, yes. But the structured water from the local rivers and streams, that local area, say within 100 miles, that's special water for you. That's you. See, you're made up of those minerals. And that's very special, apparently. It's very important water. And so you are connected to where you were born by that, by the water that is there. And radiation attacks the water on the planet, literally. That's what it's doing, it's destroying the ocean. Now the ocean is God, that's God. That creates life beyond all kinds of life, millions of different types of life, right? We can't live without water. We, play, we pray to a figure that you know, stick in the sky when our real savior is our water. Our most precious thing on this planet is not only precious because it's, it's water, but it's precious because nothing can exist that we consider life without it. Except for maybe somebody's one cell, you know, people can nitty me to death on it. But without water, life on this planet cannot exist. And radiation attacks water and all the life in the water and anything that is water itself. It's very salutable with all of these particulates with water. And then the DCA, you can buy at the local health food stores, reduces all cancers, breast, lung, livers, prostates, kidneys, all cancers. Um, within three weeks by 70%, that's survival. Drop a tumor down 70% reduction in the first three weeks. And then dandelion root tea gives you every nutrition and every mineral. So even if you live in a radiated planet, and you do, and it's going to be worse, just those three things of structured water, DCA, which you buy at the food stores, health stores, cheap. It's cheap. It's a mineral. And it's so good for your body that it realigns the molecules in your blood and causes them to uh, reject cancer and actually destroy cancer. And this has been proven many times. Look up the video on my site. It's a CTV clip. And you can go over to the university. they got that professor there. You'll see his name. You can type it in. Uh, from the University of Alberta, and he's got peer review studies about this, but there's no money in cures. There's only money in treatments. Um, let's keep going down. Checks and balances. See, running into roadblocks, and that's the whole problem. Hi, Spud Welker, Planet Earth. Hi T. Callus. I feel we came from the ocean. I think we did, didn't we? There's a lot of history on that. We came from water. Water is the most... Yeah, and talking to your water. Apparently talking to your water will strange the... And it's been proven in, in scientific... Very good point. Talking to water will bring its structure back in the loin. Saying thank you to water every day brings the structure. How bizarre is that? How bizarre is that? And that's true. Make no mistake about it. Right? That's fact. I know that for a fact. That uh, That's the one way to give your water structured water, even though you got it at the tap and you live in a city, you can't get your hands on natural water, is to say thank you to your water. And that's been shown to actually turn water structure back to its original structure. How bizarre. And uh, there's just so many studies on water, fantastic, incredible studies on water. I'm trying to keep up with some comments here. Uh, that was info power put that comment here, but I talked to water, by the way, folks. A Japanese scientist actually pioneered the theory of structured water. Well, it's a well-known theory now, that's for sure. I've, I've watched many documentaries on it. I've watched many uh, lectures on it. I've read so much on it. Um, 
Kitzer's Archives Ante, or maybe another pool in a total different location. Yeah, the pool you guys were showing. Um, thanks, Benny. No, it's no worries, Benny. You, you bet. Thank you. I right. can say the same for many people. Myself, it's not, it's not an issue. So it makes you human, right? Hi, D. Canterbury. Donald, I lived in Fukushima. It was an amazing part of Japan. The people I know are now living much further south. <laughs> I bet they are. Um, let me come down and catch a few more. Hi, Tabasca. Jacko. Make sure we get everybody here. And once again, when I'm coming down to the comments, I no longer have context a lot of the time, so I'm just saying names. Stephen, let me go down and catch a few comments. Mark, Baby Mama, Alien Raven, Tracy Mackey, hi. Uh, Mark Posey is another one. Marky is looking. Miss Milky. Folks, uh, she got a fantastic site there. Uh, Relentless, as I call her, has been one of the hardest pushing back out there and has created so much resistance just on her own uh, to due diligence and perseverance endless perseverance hence the name relentless and uh, you gotta realize that site is uh, Miss Milky the Clown one over there she aggregates everything right and there's a uh, Nubur Magic 2012 right and then there's Rad Chick and there's so many people out there. There's Thomas Ackerman out there. There's um, oh, I can't remember the other guy. There he's got cancer. Um, hell, oh my, my tongue is twisted up for some reason. I'll come up with his name in a second. But he's always out pushing back. Um, damn it, I can't remember his name. Hot boy, thank you. I come down. Make sure I catch up, because I don't know who I probably missed out on. Steven, Jerry, we got doo -doo -doo, Baby Mama covered that. Yeah, it looks like I got pretty well everybody. I'll come back up. Yeah, I'll catch all the comments after that I can't keep up with now. But I'm just going to run down, make sure I say hi to everybody before I look any further at what I got going on here. Marsgate. Hi Marsgate. And there's a lot of comments I can't get to, right? I kind of touched a good part on what Rhonda Mercy was talking about, asking about, so that's good because she was here first. and I almost forgot those and I can't find them now because like on the inside of this where I'm at right now in the control part of just craziness they call the live stream on YouTube. I don't get all the comments in here. I gotta catch them as they're coming mostly or they go to disappear. And I don't wanna have extra windows open like you got with another stream so I can keep the stream really clean. Always, you know, it's it's better when the words match up with my mouth as it's moving. And so I've learned not to try to have any extra streams running whatsoever. Kevin Blanche, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, he's, he's uh, relentless. Pushing back again, um, but not like Miss Milky, certainly. You know, Miss Milky is so many links. I don't know how she can possibly do it, but she does it, and doesn't miss a beat. She must have her email set up with a shotgun. Every time there's an email, and she comes running over, and oh, 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 I better get that, pop it in there, and make a video and get it out there, because it might disappear, and we need to keep a record of it. Yeah, Miss Milky got it. And Tracy. I see two of them landed at the same time. So that's why I should look for them. I melt sometimes, right? Like that guy that day who told me, I don't think building one, two, and three are missing. Like, I, I, I literally banged my head on the table when I read that. Just, just like anybody would, you know? What are you supposed to do? Dandelion T, Steve Matron says he started a Facebook page to get the word out to fringe yeah and dandelion like you say once again thanks albert 
Dandelion is something special. Hi Nancy Redster. Yeah, thanks Miss Milky. Good stuff. I never t I never think about it myself, but yeah. And 59 minutes, so we're down to the last couple of minutes. Um, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute for your comment to show up, folks. And so we're down to the last minute. Uh, but any comments you do put there, I'll be reading after. I'll get a cup of tea after this right away. And and I wasn't really expecting, I don't know what I think I was expecting the night because I was kind of irked by that comment, uh, that message, that big huge message. I never read you, I'm not going to read it all to you, but I don't think building one, two, and three are missing. That's not the way to start off a conversation with me, okay? That. That truly, unless you're trying to drive me over the deep end on purpose, that's not the way to start a conversation off with anybody <laughs> that's going live stream every night. <laughs> you're just adding fuel to my fire, and I don't actually need any more fuel for my fire. That fire is lit, and I'm moving every day trying to stay ahead of it because I got no choice. Just my own personal life, I have to do it, I guess, you know. I see such a, a misinformation and such misrepresentation now and so many people that feel they can't talk about the truth, they can't say the truth and that's what that's the problem with all the ex so-called experts and activists that are up on the mainstream media make no mistake about it they're forced to hold back they're forced to to minimize what they're gonna say right they're, they're told you can't be saying stuff like that you're gonna cause panic around this planet but the reality of it is we looked up in the sky folks and we seen that meteorite coming what would we do and when we look at fukushima that's what we should be doing it's not very hard it makes perfect sense japan doesn't need to go to loan they never did people have all kinds of countries have offered and they rejected it so japan itself the citizens the couple of hundred million people in japan need to go in and have a good old-fashioned hanging and get this back on their to the point where we can bring in the international community because obviously nothing else is going to work obviously if they're going to hide away everything on the internet then they got a lot more to hide than we understand see and so japan needs to go in there or we we're going to have to chart her planes and go over and hunt down the tepco and the people responsible for stopping the international community from going in there that has to be done we ain't got any extra time this is not something we can put off for months. This is something we need now, right? That we needed 988 days ago, okay? Yeah, thanks, Miss Milky. You betcha. And DCA, folks, uh, D. Canterbury. Well, the way I am, I'm going to leave a legacy for the children. The children don't deserve what we're leaving behind okay and we fight for the future generations not just ourselves. and we fight for the ability to finally be free from this technocratic terrorist organization known as governments around this planet and this hideous assault upon our loved ones by GMO and the fable that everything is our right and go back to sleep we have to fight for our freedom now more than any other any other generation in history has ever had to go and fight that's what we're up against we are going to war against nuclear energy period should never have existed and the future generations if they get a chance will make that very clear of how disappointed they were in these generations that allowed it to happen but it wasn't our fault they hid it from us but now we get it and now we're fighting back, now we're pushing back, and we're organized, we're a lot smarter than any other generation before us, okay? We have the ability to change this game. And it's only now that we're seeing that people understand it so well. That's what scares them, that's why they shut down the internet in Japan, and that's why we're here every night, organizing and educating people, and putting that out there that your voice is so friggin powerful you have no idea just a 30 second video or one minute video and no just 10 people might watch it 
But I can guarantee you, just the fact that you posted it there, you defeated them. You took away their power by doing that. That is their power. Their power is their ability to deny you your ability to speak out. Right? And when you put these comments in my comment section, that proves you are passing over that threshold of fear now. And you understand the difference. And that's why you're here tonight. And that's why we're here tonight. And that's why we'll be here tomorrow night. And that's why I'll have him blocked by tomorrow night. Because I go on another message like that from that guy ever again. To tell me that building 1, 2, and 3 are, not, are okay and they're not missing. Uh, they won't blog videos because they're cowards. Those types of people. They're murderers. They're trying to murder people. See? So... Here we go. I know I'm starting to repeat myself because it's over an hour. Okay, D. Canterbury, News Eye, Legionnaire, Albert. Hi, Aaron. InfoPower, Miss Milky, Rhonda, Aylin, Mark, Big Now TV. I'll catch everybody's comments and uh, after the show. It's an hour and five minutes. That's certainly long enough for anybody. We'll talk tomorrow. Feel free to download, re upload any of my videos at any time you feel like it, folks. They're dear for you too, okay? Take care. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.